Hi, I'm Pat Deegan, co-founder of Psychogenic Technologies. In this series, we're building a pick and place machine. So far, we've selected the light placer system, gathered all the requisite materials, unpacked and sorted everything, and completed construction of the most complex part of the assembly, the pick and place header, the gantry, and all that stuff. So today, we're gonna to get started on the framework and hopefully put everything together and be done with the mechanical side of things. Let's go. Assembly was admittedly tedious work, but the instructions were complete, and in the end, I came out missing exactly one M510 bolt, and an optional one at that. You might consider having a few spare M5s around, but considering the complexity of the assembly, I'm impressed how well it went. Voila! A completed frame that does X and Y, and even a little Z. Nice. Here's the completed framework, looking pretty great. It sits perfectly on that Linmont tabletop, which offers a nice base while keeping it relatively portable. Okay, we're about to belt up our bot. But first, we want to affix it to the surface. Uh, and before that, while I'm going to make a bunch of dust, we want to make that hole for the camera. Now, I've selected a spot over here in the corner that the bot can access right there. And I'm about to go and make a lot of dust somewhere else. <laughs> Let's do that first. What could be safer than drilling in a stairwell? That was easy. So, the important discovery about this $10 Linmon is that it's basically a whole lot of nothing. Just corrugated cardboard type stuff in the middle here. I have no idea how I'm going to get everything to hold. All right, time to belt these motors. Now the website has this technique where you're basically using these zip ties and uh, it seems to work fine, but a little bit of cruising on the forum basically said, hmm, maybe not. Uh, if you use these guys, it's uh, safer, easier, or whatever. So uh, I got a little bunch of these, these basically these little clamps, and I'm gonna do all the belting right now. The clamps are easy to install and do a good job of getting the belt teeth to mesh. I'm hoping they'll reduce backlash to a minimum. The clamps! Check out that smooth X action. Yes, the mechanical is now done. Still need to bolt everything on to the surface, but otherwise everything mechanical is done and it's time to begin the electronics, which is the part I'm actually good at. <laughs> so let's get started. In the next installment, we'll wire this thing up and finally be able to power it on. Can't wait. Oh, my God.